Hi, I'm going to show you today how to enroll in Medicare Part A and or Medicare Part A and B. First, we're going to start with going into your internet browser and typing in www.ssa.gov. Again, that's ssa.gov. That is taking you to the Social Security website. That does not mean you're signing up for Social Security benefits. That means this is just taking you to the Social Security website to enroll in Medicare. Once you get to the screen, you'll see up here where it says sign up or sign enroll. You want to click on my Social Security. Now, once you get to this screen, if you have not created an account, this is where you need to create an account. If you have one already, you'll go to this side and you would type in the username and password that you've already created. So once again, if you have not si signed up a Social Security account, you would do that on the left and on the right, you do that. Okay, so there is another level of security. They will take your cell phone number, they'll text you a security code. This is where you're going to enter the security code. Now it takes about, it could take up to two minutes to get that code and the code does expire 10 minutes after the time of your request. You submit your security code and then you're going to scroll down here and you need to make sure that you agree to the terms of service and then hit next. Now, if you already had a username and password set up, then some of this stuff could be pre-filled in for you. But you're going to scroll down here to where it says that you qualify for Medicare and you're going to click start a Medicare application. So click that button that says start the Medicare application. And then you're going to hit apply for benefits. Once again, this is just Medicare benefits. All right, you need to make sure that you agree to the terms and services there and then click next. And then you're going to go there and you're going to hit start a new application. Once again, if you already had an account set up, some of this information will be pre-filled for you. So just click next once you get all that filled out. And you may have to fill some of it in. Not all of it comes pre-filled if you already had an account set up. So we're going to go through here and just set, uh, put, fill all this information in. So bear with us a few minutes while we do this, getting it all put in for you. Now, Medicare really generally doesn't call you, but if they do have questions about your application, they will call. So you want to go ahead and put a phone number in there that they can reach you if they have questions about your application. Okay, now if you go down here to the email address, make sure you put an email address in there because Social Security, once you do the online enrollment, you will receive email confirmation from Social Security stating that they've received your applications and it will be processed. So once again, make sure you put a valid email address in and of course, make sure you do the confirmation email below. Now, if you do end up changing your email at any point, you need to let Social Security know that so they have uh, accurate information for you. All right, so you're going to put English and then you're going to go here or ask for your place of birth, city, state, and zip. And then are you a U.S. citizen? Yes or no? So we'll put that you are a U.S. citizen, type of citizenship, born in the U.S., and then click next. Okay, so once again, this is applying for Medicare only. This is not applying for cash benefits. So you wanna mark yes for that. Are you already enrolled in our Medicare under somebody else's social security number? Most cases, the answer is definitely no. All right, so now we have a re-entry. You can see that this re-entry number is if you wanna come back in and re-look uh, re at your application to see the status of it. So you can print this, take a picture of it, write it down, whatever you want to do, because you need to keep that if you want to go in and look at your application status to see where you're at. So once again, you can print it or take a picture of it or something. And then you want to click next. Okay. Now, the next question is, do you want to enroll in Medicare Part A? I'm sorry, Medicare Part B. Now, I've told you on the phone, because I talked to you prior to this, I've told you what if you need to enroll in Part A or just Part A and B. So I've told you what you need to do. 
So if I told you to enroll in part A only, you want to put no for part B. If I've told you that you need to enroll in part A and part B, when it says, do you want to enroll in part B, you need to make sure you mark yes. So once again, if I told you A and B, then mark yes. If I told you just A, mark no. And of course you get this disclaimer basically saying that there could potentially be a penalty, but you and I have already talked about that. Are you receiving Medicaid benefits? In most cases, no. Now, are you covered under a group plan? If I told you to mark yes, because you're staying on your employer plan, you're going to mark yes, and you're going to put your information in here about your employment coverage. If you're coming off of your employer plan, then we're going to put no, that you don't have employer because you will not have employer coverage once you become Medicare eligible. Now, in this particular example, they're staying on the employer plan and only enrolling in part A. So that's why you can see this right here. So you would only have to fill this information out if you're enrolling for part A only and you're staying on your employer plan. Now, once we get to the remarks and options, I always like to just make sure that we put, please make my Medicare part A or my Medicare part A and B effective whatever date we're requesting. So in this particular case, we were requesting a 9-1 effective date. So of course with his, we were only doing the part A and we were making it effective 9-1. And then after that, we just hit thank you or thanks. So now you're getting um, the screen to verify all of your information. You know your date of birth, city, state, zip, where you were born, um, social security numbers. You're gonna verify all of that. Click on that you agree for an electronic signature and then hit submit now. Once you hit submit now, you'll get this that says, thank you for applying for Medicare online. Here's your confirmation. You can print this page off for your records. And after you do that, you can click done and you will get an email very shortly saying that they've received your application. So there you go. You'll just give me a call back once you get your Medicare card and then we can go to the next step. Thank you.